we have the cause has been granted an extension they have a new actually yeah, extension and they have a new venue which i'm happy to report which is great to see um the cause is obviously a, a little venue um, in North London next to Tottenham, which I'm sure some of you guys are familiar with. There's been a very um, trite relationship with the local council. I think essentially it was a temporary license anyway. They were only meant to be there for a, a few months, let's say. And then um, obviously all the boons around them. If you've been there previously, you know a lot of boons around that surrounding area. The cause have been knocked down. Places have kind of moved on. So it, it did seem quite ominous. And they were meant to celebrate the end of their kind of license. This, I think the New Year's Eve party was meant to be the kind of the, the last event. They they went as far as securing another spot because they knew they were going to get kicked out of the first course place. But in, in a kind of, you know, roundabout way, as building, reg, as building works are quite a bit, you know, unpredictable. One setback on one building site can result in you know, months of delays. So essentially one setback in the building renovations in their local area has led to now the court being granted a license to stay. Because, you know, I'm sure whoever's uh, wants to take over that property likes the fact that they're kind of occupying it for this, you know, current time and putting some money in their pocket. So it makes more sense to keep them around. And it's for the local community, for the people that have been to the cause, it's great news and it's um, a point to celebrate. So it's an article from the resident advisor. It says the following... The London Club, the cause grant extension to stay open. Um, Tottenham Club, the cause will stay open beyond January 2020 after it was granted an extension by the Harry and Gay Council. The venue, which has raised more than 50000 for charity since opening in April 2018, was previously set to close on New Year's Eve to make way for a property developer. Wow, open April. Honestly, man, the amount of... They've packed in so much stuff in that year and a half, essentially. Like, so many good events. I've been there, I think, about four times now. It's one of my favorite places to go to in London. It's a bit out of the way for me being in the East. And I have Fold, which is essentially around the corner. Um, but it's a really, really great little spot. Great sounds as the great bunch of locals that are there nearly every week. And again, it serves the local community really well. Maybe it's a good example of my risk ra rationale that we should have versions of the cause and versions of fold in each area of london so north london east london south london west london so that we kind of ease the pressure off of local bars and pubs which i think are being a little bit you know um besieged by the going out get 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 hammered crew because there's nowhere else to go out really for the most part no else to go out we don't have to pay like an exuberant amount of prices at the door for the most part the cause and fold the most you're going to pay at the door is maybe 20 quid on a busy night for the most part 10 to 15 which is great for most people right you don't need to think that much but when it goes above the 20 it can get a bit dicey so it continues here the project has now been delayed for an unspecified period in addition the club will have a new license approved which is the best thing about this news um which means it'll stay open longer on wednesdays at 3 a.m which is how it should be or thursdays at 4 a.m which is great and weekend six that's how it should be for all venues in london i understand some of the venues may be in more densely populated areas surrounding kind of maybe council houses and stuff with you know a lot of young families i get it cool but for the weekend it should be six by minimum so that what happens is that people that want to go out and get on it properly can wait you know until friday until saturday to get on it instead of kind of um abusing the red bar restaurant we have at the moment and you know pushing them to the brinks during the week that's the way to go around it and again it just eases the pressure and allows the kind of people to kind of disperse around the clubs a lot more and not just have a concentration of one people of one group of people in the same place over and over and over again and that leads to antisocial behavior outside the club all that sort of stuff you know what i'm talking about uh during the bank holidays it has an option to run 24-hour parties which is great similar to fold and the term is applied for the new lease in 2000 april 2019 uh, this is a comment from one of the co-founders, Stuart Glenn, says it feels like I've been pranked. Uh, Sticks, a nightclub opposite, closed last New Year's Eve, which I've been there as well. That was a really cool venue too. There has been v v bulldozed. The petrol station next door has been demolished. We see cranes every day. A few weeks ago, we didn't think we had any options. Now we're paying rent on two spaces and have an opportunity, the possibility of a pipeline. I have another one in the pipeline. It's like a game of musical chairs and we could literally have no clue what 2020 holds for us. It's that common British saying, isn't it? Um, you know, uh, two buses come at the same time, that sort of thing. People always say about buses. Uh, you miss one, but then three end up coming at the same time. That's how it is in the opportunities. Life can always throw you these curveballs, but then suddenly out of nowhere, you're you know, inundated with options. The possibility of the pipeline is an unnamed venue not far from the cause that has... Uh, that the team will be uh, trialing in the New Year's Eve with a hope to secure a long-term license. The new space was discovered by 50 year old, 55 year old uh, regular Nikolai who works in a chocolate factory opposite. Um, upcoming events of the cause include a drum and bass founder, fundraiser, sorry, Jungle Jam, Tribes with uh, Fa Panega and the three decades of London House. The Lon new lineup of New Year's Eve will remain undisclosed though. UK Festival 
uh, free rotation has confirmed his involvement. That's awesome to see a good lineup of events coming up. Um, again, great, great to see, man. Um, does it seem as if it's that easy to open up a club? I'd love to open up a club temporary like that. Maybe you have to put quite a lot of money up uh, beforehand, but it seems cool, man. Uh, big up the cause people big up everyone involved in it big up the scene that kind of held that place together raised loads of money was supporting it in every event they did the founders as well that that do that run the cause are really cool if you've ever seen them on facebook and what they post and stuff they're very interactive um to communicate with the local scene everyone kind of feels a part of it so i'm not surprised they were able to kind of have this good grace be bestowed upon them so definitely congrats to them and recommend you check out the cause especially at new year's eve event that seems like a mental one 24-hour party i think in two different venues definitely check it out if you're that involved um let's actually check it out for you guys to see here on the screen this is the cause new year's eve double venue party they still got some tickets left um it says the following uh what we meant to be at, what was meant to be our last party and the current space has moved into a first dance of what may be not be our new home both the cause and our new space will be open all night long we will shuttle buses on the concert rotations taking you to our undisclosed location just four minutes away one ticket gets you access to both venues wow amazing man as be as before the lineup will remain the secret but ticket holders can expect a strand of dance music up to over multiple rooms and two venues the new space will be curated by one of the most um, respected festivals and truly underground members only free rotation alongside the london love party which um Lay the DNA of the cause and they're responsible for the club's biggest show, Tribes. Uh, across two venues, there's been some very big surprise guests who have been never played the club before alongside some of his favorite friends and family. Please join us for a double venue adventure. This will never be repeated. Amazing, isn't it? Two venues, 24 hours. That's flipping great to see. Definitely recommend you check it out. Good dudes, solid people. Really love the scene. Really appreciate what they're doing. And more power.